This portion of the Ray Lucia Show is brought to you by Pipeline Oil and Gas and is for informational purposes only. It is not intended to promote or sell securities nor give legal, tax, or investment advice. There are many risks associated with investment in oil and gas, including the loss of principal. Private placements in oil and gas are available only to accredited or qualified investors. Pipeline Oil and Gas is not endorsed by this network, the local stations, or the talk show hosts. Hey, welcome back, folks, to the Ray Lucia Show. Special guest Brandon Cox, Pipeline Oil and Gas. We're talking big oil today and some big potential in oil. Brandon, I've been doing a lot of research on oil and gas. Thank you so much for uh, being with us as you are each and every week. Uh, how are things going out there in the oil fields? Hey, Ray, we are busy. I'll tell you what, um, you know, I get up around 4.30 and we shut it down around 6.30 in the evening, but uh, that's what it takes because we have so much stuff going on. We actually got a new well that we're drilling as we speak, and uh, tomorrow we're pretty excited because we should get the results back on it, and everything is looking pretty optimistic at the moment. You know, I've been doing a little research because you've been uh, teaching me and training me in the oil and gas business, so we'll tell people how we're going to go out to the oil fields. I'm going to be doing a documentary with you on this. We're going to document everything because there are a lot of people that just don't understand. So can we start with that? Can we cut through a lot of the stuff? Because when most people think of oil and gas, they think of dry holes, wildcatting, and losing money. Go. Well, I mean, it's not their fault that they don't understand the oil and gas game. I mean, growing up in grade school, they teach us cursive handwriting, but they don't teach us about the oil and gas game. Even though, you know, oil and gas affects every single one of us. So, great idea. You and I get together and we're like, you know what? We're on the radio and we kind of use our words to paint this picture of what we're seeing out there, why not bring everybody out there? Why not put them on a bus, show them the fields, show them the project, show them the tanks that have 300, 400 barrels of oil a day flowing into them so they know that this is real. It's not just something we're talking about on the radio. This is actually happening every single day out in the oil and gas field, but there are risks. And, okay, now that I know that there's an opportunity – What's the downside? What's my exposure? That's where we can use this classroom out in the field to educate people because they've never truly had a fair shot to become experts. Now's their chance. Now, am I correct in my assumption that the risk of not finding oil is all but gone away when you're dealing in the types of developmental wells that you're dealing with? And the real risk could be just the future price of oil? Well, I mean, one could argue that. Now, I think a better approach is to say, look, there's risk in everything we do. But, again, it's very mitigated. You know, if you're successful at something eight times out of ten, you can have a sustainable, profitable opportunity to continue to produce. But right now, there's other folks out there that are not that successful, and there are extreme risks. So for us, it's very predictable. But, again – we don't want to lead anybody to believe that, hey, this is, you know, some bulletproof guarantee because that's not what, we're not what we're saying. We're saying that because of our structure, because of the opportunity, we've mitigated that risk. So even the exposure that we do have is neutralized, and even the price of the commodity that you're talking about, hey, that's fine if the price of oil goes down a little bit. It only costs us 35 bucks a barrel to produce it. We're selling for 105 to 107 a barrel a day out there right now. There's a pretty good spread, but we even put a hedge in place so we have a cap or a floor on the downside exposure. So even the risk on the commodity side has been neutralized. Uh, it's a very interesting business. There's no question about it. As I said, uh, you're teaching me, and I'm learning as I go. I uh, have never been known to get my fingernails dirty with oil, but I guess you're going to show <laughs> me how to do that. Uh, coming up in, in June. I guess it's the 26th of June. Talk about your trip real quick because this could be very, very exciting for individuals that actually want to go get their fingernails dirty. Well, what a great opportunity because, I mean, to come out there and have the opportunity to hang out with you alone, Ray, is worth the trip in my opinion. Now, you also throw a <laughs> world-class oil and gas analyst like Chris Jarvis in the picture. He's going to be there. Both you guys by yourselves can pack a room. So to have all of you guys in the same place and also give people access to geologists, petroleum engineers, drillers, operators, all of the key players in the oil and gas field, that's pretty exciting. But, yeah, June 26th through the 28th, 
You must be an accredited investor. Can't beat it. 1500 bucks if you show up, 100% money-back guarantee. What do you got to lose? I think that's pretty exciting. And as I said, we're going to be filming this, and I'll be doing uh, some taping and, and documenting all of this so that we have it in an archive so that if anybody ever wants to know, if they can't go on the trip, we'll be able to show them the, the video clips. But I understand it's also going to be a fun trip, too, because I'm bringing my wife, and, I mean, Jeannie wears high heels, so I don't know if she's going to be traipsing through the oil fields, but she wants to have some fun because we're going to be in New Orleans there at least for a night, right? Well, as long as Jeannie's wearing high heels and you're not, I think that's okay, right? So we'll, we'll take care of her. We'll make sure she's, she's having a good time. But you betcha, we're going to have some fun all the while while we're learning and figuring out how to benefit from this modern-day oil boom. You're talking about New Orleans. The big easy, right? Yeah. But then you get out there and you're tasting some of that southern hospitality when it comes to the food. I've got a special surprise in store that's really going to light people up. Uh, but, again, we want to give everybody the full Bayou experience of when you go out there. All right. Brandon Cox, CEO of Pipeline Oil & Gas, who, as I said, has been teaching me a bunch about oil. You know, I, I've, I've been doing my homework in preparation for this documentary that we're going to be doing and what I'm learning is oil is shockingly important to the world in terms of the energy supply. With gas included, oil and gas represent over 50% of humanity's energy supply. So when you hear the stuff about solar and uh, other uh, transferable energy sources, et cetera, I mean, it doesn't even compare in a microcosm to what oil produces for the energy supply for the world. It's pretty amazing when you start looking at the numbers. It is, and again, I'm a big proponent of uh, sunshine, hydro, all of that stuff, but I've yet to see a set of tires that are made out of air. You know, you've got to... You, you've got to have a tire for the car to run on. You're going to utilize petroleum-based products. There's 6,000 products every person uses out there every single day. They're not making any more oil. The good Lord only put so much of it in the ground. So when you're talking about a dwindling commodity that every single person on the planet utilizes, being in the right place at the right time isn't hard to do in that scenario. But you, again, you've got to have the right team, the right structure, because you're talking about an industry where there are extreme amounts of risk. So if you can kind of have somebody there as kind of your big brother that takes care of you and leads you down that path, this is the opportunity for you. Well, and I'll be your entertainment, folks. So if you want to come on the trip, <laughs> come on down. I might bring my ax, but I think we're going to be really, really busy. Brandon Cox, Pipeline Oil & Gas, his number 800-996-3690 or pipelineoilandgas.com. Check them out, pipelineoilandgas.com. Remember, there are risks associated with all investments. There are some tax benefits. You can ask Brandon about those as well. Pipeline Oil and Gas, I thank you, Brandon. We'll talk to you next week. I'm very excited about going back to New Orleans. Don't go away. It's the Radio Show.